In this video, I will show you how to create multiple drop down list in a cell or a group of cells. See the drop down list in this cell here. We have four options carrot, beans, cauliflower, eggplant. The adjacent cell is also having a drop down list. And we have three options fruits, vegetables, cereals. I will select fruits. Now, when we check the drop down list in this cell, the options have changed. Earlier we had a list of vegetables. Now the options are fruits. Apple, banana, grapes, orange. Let me change the type of food again. Cereals. Again when we check this drop down list. The options have changed. Corn, oats, wheat, rice. That means this cell is having multiple drop down lists. In other words, the options of the drop down list in the cell depends on the selection we make on another drop down list. Now let me show you how to create dependent drop down list like this. So the idea is to create different drop down list for these two columns. From the first drop down list or the main drop down list, we should be able to select the type of food. It can be fruits, vegetables, cereals, dairy, etc. Once we make the selection on the first drop down list, the food items on the second drop down list or the dependent drop down list will update. So to create the first drop down list or the main drop down list, type in the options needed. Fruits, vegetables, cereals, dairy. To create drop down list with these options, select the cells where you want the drop down list. In the data tab, data validation, Validation criteria, list, click on this input box under the label source, select the cells containing options, ok. Every selected cell is now having a drop down list with 4 options. Now about the second drop down list or the dependent drop down list. If we select vegetables from the first drop down list here, the corresponding drop down list in the column for food item should display list of vegetables. If we select cereals, dependent drop down list should display list of cereals. So to create the dependent drop down list, type in the list of food items. We will start with fruits, apple. Vegetables, now that we have the list of food items, next step is naming the cells according to category. We will start with fruits, select the cells containing fruits and if you plan to add more items in future, add a few blank cells. Click on the excel name box, type in fruits, enter. Now when I click on the excel name box, there is a name called fruits. Select fruits. The cells referring to that name is selected. Again, vegetables, now a cucumber method for naming ranges. Select the cells containing food items. In the formulas tab, create from selection. Say dialog called create names from selection is activated. Unmark the checkbox for left column. Now when I click OK, these cells will be named according to the values in the top row. Cereals, Dairy. OK. See two more names are created. Cereals, Dairy. Now select the cells in the column for food item, that is the cells where we want the dependent drop down list. In the data tab, data validation, validation criteria, list. Click inside this input box and type in this formula, equal, indirect, open parentheses. Now the address of the first cell containing main drop down list. C3. Close parenthesis. 
Okay. Let's check the newly created drop down list. The options are corn, oats, wheat, rice. Now let me change the type of food. Vegetables. See the options in the dependent drop down list updated. Carrot, beans, cauliflower, eggplant. 